YouTube show every Friday from 8 to 10. You are tuned in to Keys to the Street Radio. Oh, What's up, y'all? It's another Friday edition of the Icy Fashion Junkie Juke Show. And I told you guys all week that Chelsea's pulling up right here. She did air in the house. Chelsea Wagwan. Say Wagwan. Yo, Chelsea's just telling me, listen, I'm going to the Yanni Dumb party, okay? I know about the rum punch. I'll be getting lit. Right? She said, I'll be getting lit. Don't play like that. She was over here busting a wand. I was like, okay, Chelsea, I got to take you to a Jamaican party. She said, don't play like that because I always go to Jamaican parties, okay? Always at the Jamaican parties. Mm. She like, where the rum punch at? Don't play like that. She said, where is it at, bro? <laughs> Wait, I was like, I know roti is Jamaican. No, that's Guyanese, but I love me I some like, roti, too. Roti. Listen, roti with some goat meat and some curry chicken and some fucking potato. Don't play like that. Okay, oh, just give me some good gravy and some roti. Have you been to Hot Pot in Brooklyn? Yes, I've been to Hot oh, Pot. I just went there and had some of the best roti. I'm about to say, Southside took me there. I didn't get roti from there, but he took me there. Oh, and peppers. You uh, meant peppers? I got shrimp roti. It was, it was immaculate. I never had shrimp roti. I'm allergic to shell food. It's like, can you come from something so good? It's just like when you gotta pee really bad. I'm about to say, when you gotta pee really bad and you finally get to pee, (laughs) that feeling while you're peeing, I don't know if anybody get that feeling, but if you don't know when you gotta pee, you hold it for so long, you finally get the toilet and that shit is just like, oh my God, that's how some good food tastes. Especially when you want it and you get what you want, you like even fuck it up even more. I know the vibe. And people say, cause we fucking skinny and we don't know about food and we don't like to eat. (laughs) I got a weight problem. I can't wait to eat. Don't play yeah, like that. I was like, bro, I was like, yo, this is the fifth time I'm eating today. That's it's good. Great. Ooh. I'm hungry. Feet little, little hungry monsters in the stomach. So, Chelsea, how did you get your name on IG, Chelsea the Alien? Chelsea the Alien. Um, I wanted to start going by my first name, which is Chelsea, because I used to, like, I have another nickname, and a lot of people still call me that. And I just wanted to go by Chelsea more authentic. And there was nothing. Ever met an alien? Would you freak out? Yo, I've met an alien in my dreams though. They have okay. come to me in dreams and they're like, "Y'all niggas fucking up planet Earth. You're trying to go to Mars. You're gonna fuck up Mars. Like they're trying to help us not be as Do you think that there's another planet and another being in the middle of our planet? Like. Antarctica and the people that lived there before it drowned and because that's what Gaia was, right? Or, Gaia is just Earth. Oh, okay. It's Earth. Because I know Gaia was a channel about like the people from Antarctica. You ever saw that? Gaia I, channel? I, I, I you should watch that. Gaia. Yeah, watch it's called it. Gaia TV. You should look I it up. I'll watch it. You didn't even know you didn't even know that you, you knew about not. it. But you, you didn't even you knew about it already. You didn't even know. Well, you was like, who Gaia? I was like, oh, she know about it. Okay, she's enlightened. Her third eye is open. Okay? Because I'm a freak about aliens. People start looking at me weird like, listen, there's nothing out there. And I'm like, it's something out there. Okay? You see how that shit was moving? It did not post to move like that. Stars do not move like that. But yeah, we're thinking I'm weird. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, don't play like that. Who? Oh my God. <laughs> see, that's when we, had, see, we started the interview and we just jumped into a whole new step. Oh, Tell me about the first time you knew that you loved music. Oh, man. Little five-year-old, six-year-old Chelsea was like, I want to play the harp. And then my teacher was like, that's really complicated. You should play the violin. And I started playing violin when I was like six or seven. And I'm like a weird, classically trained orchestra baby. And so I was like, I started writing songs when I was like, I just never Um, like, where did you get your, your musical background from? Do your parents do music? Neither of my parents are musicians. I'm the only musician in my family. That's quite literally. And I, like, fought to be a musician. Because, like... Um, you have a big family? Tell me about the fight. What about what about the fight? What happened? They were just like, I don't want you to do this. And he was like, listen, I'm going to be a rock star. was, like, in a band and like, smashed one of my people. It's like, once. And I was like... 
Why she just didn't want you to do the music? No, she just no, no problem. I hate fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say okay because I, I don't know, but listen, okay? Listen and listen, Daddy, it's not even just white moms. We have black moms, Chinese moms that do the same motherfucking thing. They be breaking your shit because they feel like, listen, this is, I don't want you to do that. And it's like, listen, I love this. So trust yeah. me, I know the vibes. Yeah. I know the vibes. But, and that just made you more enlightened to go harder to get to do yeah, music. Absolutely. Like, I just like, it's like no one was, my, no one in my family was a musician. It was funny. It was like, I went on tour and came back. I went on tour with performance artists. And I like opened up for them, and I was still learning how to like sing and like be a musician and everything. So I went on tour as a performance artist, and like I came back to my store, and my mom was like, my mom was like, girl, you can't sing. <laughs> my mom was really honest. She's a tourist, so she was like, you go practice. Me. Like I come back from tour, and my mom still think I can't sing. So I'm like, okay, that's great. 